Hey guys, this is Meeker here. This is going to be a really short video compared to normal. I just wanted to do a reaction to this change, basically. So, uh, the devs decided that they wanted to nerf the, the blunderbuss on the PTR, citing that, quote-unquote, it was untouched, and it was still a, too strong in some aspects. So they're going to be nerfing, basically, the, the damage on blunderbuss, particularly on the Zoth's Trapnel Blast, and some claw animation cancels that were used in one-shot combos. I think the claw shot animation cancel one shot combo thing is a fair nerf just because that was just annoying. But nerfing Azoth's Shrapnel Blast on top of the under Blunderbuss nerfs that they don't realize that actually went out is kind of infuriating to be honest. For like those of you who don't know, this like effective fortify change basically is making it so that Blunderbuss is not going to have near the amount of fortify that it once did. Blunderbuss will be along the lines of about half as tanky as it once was if not a little bit less than that uh so it i don't think it makes any sense at all to even touch the weapon anymore but the main reason why blunderbuss was used in the pvp aspect was it was a tanky weapon that could do good damage on the ptr as of right now before this change it was a not tanky weapon that could do okay damage at close range but that damage did not even kind of compared to other weapons in my opinion it didn't really compare to bow it didn't really compare to fire staff it did not really compare to some melee weapons either, because melee weapons are not affected as much uh, by damage reduction effects like elemental aversion, because there is no melee attack aversion, if you will. The, that aversion was Fortify, which got nerfed into the ground and is basically useless for the majority of classes. There are some classes like SNS that can still use Fortify, but for the vast majority of them, Fortify is basically a useless thing that does not make sense to go for. So I don't think it makes any sense to nerf the Blunderbuss on top of that Fortify change because Blunderbuss is already basically not going to be survivable. You're going to have to be close range versus melees who can be warded to you and you can't exactly ward to them effectively anymore. And I don't, I think that inherently puts Blunderbuss at a big disadvantage. And this change on top of that, I think it's just going to basically make Blunderbuss not useless, but... You know, actually, it kind of is just going to make it useless because it's not even run on live and heavy anymore. Because it's just, it's better to slot an IGVG than a Blunderbuss in like 99% of circumstances. The only reason why Blunderbusses sometimes run on point now is just for extra random disease and for shot callers specifically. Because it's an easy build to play that is not super hard to get value out of. Typically it's slotted as like a light like kill squad oriented role that can is played in that respect because it won't get one shot because you have this sort of second life with the 50% fortify that you gain. Which... 50% fortify on the live client is going to make you twice as tanky, right? So it's like you effectively get to play as a tankier spec than what you are just by slotting the blunderbuss, which is why it's been popular, because you can lower that con and you can keep the damage and still be survivable. That's not the case on the PTR anymore, and if you run blunderbuss with lower con, you're just going to get one shot, and I don't think that's a super balanced aspect, and they need to be looking at this like very, very soon. It seems like a lot of the devs at that dev team are sort of reading and taking the patch notes that they are writing as they will and thinking like, oh, this Fortify cha change is only going to make it so that Fortify is not as useful in light. It's not going to really hurt the heavies across the board. It's not going to really hurt mediums across the board. But when you actually look at the math of like what they did, like it, it's Fortify is the most useless thing to run in the next patch other than like rend basically rend and fortify are the two worst buffs and debuffs next patch and on top of that that, that being the entirety of the blunderbuss kit because blunderbuss has last chance which is a really big fortify had fortify aggression which is a decent fortify and on a roll which is a decent fortify but most likely people aren't going to be taking these perks anymore because they are literally borderline useless and a, a light setup fortify is basically worth a fifth to a sixth of its original value on the live client that is not something that you want to be prioritizing over any other perk in the game. It is worse than getting like two stamina back per pellet. It is really, really bad. And on top of that, which they cite as not being a change that is going to hurt Blunderbuss or hitting this with a damage nerf as well. Like, albeit Blunderbuss got a slight buff because they fixed a bug where the shells aren't actually taken into account into the Azoth or into the fire damage part of the calculation of damage, so Blunderbuss is getting a damage buff and a nerf at the same time. I still don't think this makes any sense, because you're going into a meta where 
Fire is going to be heavily warded too. People are going to be slotting elemental aversion instead of shirking fort. So blunderbuss is inherently just not going to do as much damage. And on top of that, they're throwing a damage nerf on top of this. I think this change basically moves blunderbuss all the way down into like C to D tier in terms of the weapons. And basically any other weapon is better at the blunderbuss at doing damage. And blunderbuss is no longer better at living than other weapons as well. So for the given meta, I don't think blunderbuss is useful anymore. And I don't understand why they are going to be nerfing it as well. Even on the live client, Blunderbuss isn't really being played. And then on the, the PTR, for some reason, everyone's like, oh, Blunderbuss is going to be super, super broken. Like, it's going to be good with Fire Staff in particular, just because of that, how that weapon works. But the Blunderbuss is not going to make Fire Staff broken. I think Ice Gauntlet is way more broken than Fire Staff. I'm making a video on that later today. I just wanted to do a quick kind of reaction video to this change and uh, to let you guys to probably not roll any blunderbusses anytime soon because it's just not going to be useless, a useful weapon unless they change how Fortify works on the PTR. And that, that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.